Hey everybody, I'm Marie Bard Curtis with the Quilted Poodle. When tightening your long arm belts, what is girl tight or not Superman tight or just right? In today's video, I hope to help you become comfortable with what feels just right when adjusting your belt tension. Unless you're using your long arm heavily on a daily basis, then you may want to check your tension more often. Once you adjust your tension and lock it in place with the tensioning knob, your tension should remain good. Here you can see where my horizontal belt originates on the right side of my frame. There are the two control knobs and the belt exits out my frame going to the left horizontally across the base of my frame. At the point where my belt comes through my frame, the height of my belt from the bed of my frame is about one and three quarter inches. You will see as I go down at least to five feet from the side of my frame, the belt does hang lower as I get closer to the center of my, my frame. And I have a 12 foot frame to the point where when my belt is threaded through my machine, it's probably no higher than a half an inch above the bed of my frame. And that's because the sprocket that it rolls through underneath the carriage brings it a little bit lower. You will always have some play in the belt. You will always be able to move it. When you are tightening your belt on the side of your frame, when you get to the point where you really have to exert a lot of pressure to keep the knob turning in order to tighten the belt, you are at the correct tightness for your belt. What I'm looking at now is the height of my belt as it exits out the side of my frame. The height is about one and three quarter inches from the bed of my frame. I have adjusted my belt to what I consider the proper tightness. There's still a little bit of play in the belt, but I have adjusted it so on the side that if I try to turn it more to make it tighter, I would really have to exert a lot of pressure on the knob to get it tighter. So at the point where I can easily turn the knob to adjust it, and then I lock it into place, that to me is considered the proper tightness. At this point, I'm about two and a half feet out from the beginning of where my belt comes out of the side of the frame, where my control knobs are, and I'm holding a ruler and I have a height of about one and one fourth inch. That is the height of my belt off of the bed of my frame. There's still play in that belt, but when I've made the adjustments at the side of my frame, my belt appears tight. If I wanted to make my belt tighter, I would really have to exert a lot of pressure on my control knob to pull that belt tighter. There's still some play in your belt, even when it feels tight at the control knobs about five feet out, my belt from the base of the table of my long arm frame is about a half an inch, a half an inch high. And there's still quite a bit of play in it, but I'm determining that my belt is tight when I'm at the side control, turning the belt and it's gone as far as it can go without me really exerting a lot of pressure on it. So I'll turn it to the point where it stops. I'll lock it into place. That to me is having your belt tight. So I've given you some distances from the point where the belt comes out from the side control along a five foot length. And I've gone from one and three quarter inch down to my belt slanting down to about a half an inch and that's at the five foot mark. If my belt is actually laying down on the bed of my frame, clearly that's too loose. 
but there's some spring in my belt. And at this point, five feet out, my belt is lifted about a half an inch off of the bed of my frame. I wanted to show you that at this point, where I'm very close to my carriage, I'm at about six feet out from where my belts originated. My belt is only about a quarter of an inch away from the bed of my frame. At the point where the belt goes under the carriage, it's only off the bed of the frame about a quarter of an inch. When examining the vertical belt for tightness, it's a little more difficult to see. You can just barely see the belt and you can only push down on it a little bit. It doesn't have as much give as the horizontal belt because it isn't as long. So you can only push it down a little bit once you have made the adjustment using the knobs pulling the belt as tightly as you can, and then locking it in place. So once you get it to a snug tightness and you can't turn it anymore without really exerting a lot of pressure, then lock it into place. And you will only be able to move that belt maybe only about a half an inch out of position. Thank you for watching. God bless.